On this endless ocean, finally lovers know no shame. Turning and returning to some secret place inside. Watching in slow motion as you turn to me and say, Take my breath away. Countries around the world love GE's advanced locomotives. And our employees in Erie love making them. GE, imagination at work. Hi, I'm Judy Hu, and I'm standing inside an AC 4400 Evolution Series locomotive. This story is all about how our customers overseas love the products we make as much as we love making them. Behind me what you're seeing are sparks flying from a couple of welders which is going to give a lot of atmosphere to that particular scene and there are about six extras who are going to be dancing. So we're here in Erie, Pennsylvania in a very, very large facility where they make our wonderful engines and locomotives. They're so incredibly large you can't really Recorded on the film, you really have to be here in person. 70 foot long, about 15 foot high, 13 foot wide, 5,000 gallon fuel tank. When they're all filled up, they weigh about 435,000 pounds. It's astounding. I mean, to look at the sheer size of something like that. When you're here next to them, you see so many of them lined up, and then when you start talking with the guys and find out, uh, you know, how it's made and stuff, to us that's fascinating. Well, we're up on. Uh huge crane that can lift a 400,000 pound locomotive. It's one big beast is what I, I like to call them. I mean the technology's really changed over the years. Now you have 12 cylinders that'll generate more horsepower than you used to have when you had 16 cylinders. It's friendlier to the environment because you don't have the emissions. It's, it's something when you see it going down the track, hauling the train, the cars, you say geez you know, I, I had a part in building that. These guys have been doing this, many of them, for 25 years in many cases. Uh, you, you can't put out 885 locomotives in a year if you're not passionate about it. Uh, 34 years ago, I was a kid, about, about 16, looking for a job. They hired me here, took a chance on me, and I tried not to level let them down. And I think they made a good investment. I think I made one too. I raised a family, I bought a home, and built a life for myself here. I think that the locomotive is sort of like a hidden gem. It is to America the same thing as apple pie and baseball. You don't really think that you're going to build them when you grow up, but some people do. It's like being a kid all over again. We're bringing everything together by locomotive. And we try to do it in a beautiful way. It pretty much takes your breath away as they move it around. And so it's, uh, the song seems appropriate for a million reasons. When you see a locomotive set on trucks, um, you never get tired of that. And if you ever see the view from the top, it's awesome. It's, I mean, to see the whole bay and things moving down to you, and it's just a view that you would never, you, that would take your breath away. This is the second spot we've used Rocky Morton on. Rocky's really great. He's got a great eye for the camera, and he's, he's excellent at capturing what it is that these people do up here. And uh, he's been to the plant, and he's seen what happens firsthand, and he just had a great way of bringing what they do to life. And action. Look at the camera like that. That'll be the shot like that. 